Hello again and welcome to another video. This time I am here with my crossbow and I'm going to be doing something a little different, actually a lot different than what I usually do. Um, I'm going to try to show off the, uh, I guess, cheesy way of gaining XP really fast and finding weapons really fast. Um, this is just one way. I don't know for sure if it's the best way. Uh, it's definitely not the most entertaining way, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, and actually, I, I hope that in the future this doesn't even need to happen. There's more efficient ways of getting more XP and, and loot, but for now, I'm going to show this off. So, for one, uh, just using basically the best weapon I have, uh, at least for this specific thing, which is the crossbow. Uh, and you can see I got a couple more great swords from doing this grind, but they still don't have unblockable or uh, anything really useful. <laughs> so um, that's that. But yeah, so my crossbow over here, I've got the poison plus seven shots plus slowing. Uh, it honestly doesn't matter. Like I could just have, um, as long as it's a reload crossbow and not ice, ice is actually going to make this grind less efficient um, same with uh, fire isn't gonna make it less efficient but you're not gonna get the kills whenever the fire perk is uh, when it happens it won't actually count as a kill which is weird at least the last time I tested that that's what happened so take that for what it what it is um, but yeah, so poison, basically you get the kill no matter what. Uh, you don't have to shoot them twice like with ice or uh, your kill isn't gone because it was fired. Uh, and then slowing is just there, whatever. Seven shots, that's good. But yeah, I, I do wish I had a eight shot with something other than ice, but oh well, oh well. Uh, it's pretty good for um, tier seven difficulty then i've got these daggers probably not even going to touch them don't even really need them but they're there and i'm gonna get oh yeah one more thing uh when you do these speed run kind of grinding the xp and loot you want to have haste so that you can kind of just zoom through rooms until you're at the end room and yeah we're good with haste so and again guys this is cheesy so take that for what it is. We've got the console over here. I've got my save dungeon. Um, you can either find a dungeon from somebody else, find it yourself or whatever. Um, I got this one dungeon that I found that I feel like is probably the most efficient for this. This room over on the left here, left corner, not the green one, but the other left, uh, that, or I guess in the middle, is a, a totally useless room. So I can go through this whole thing, get two keys, get two tier three chests, sorry, three keys, and then two tier three chests, and then I get to the very end, fight the boss, and then it's over. And I think I can do it in about five minutes, so it's just <laughs> a really easy grind. You don't have to do tier seven difficulty or anything higher than one, because I think you get the same XP, and. If you don't, it's very minimal change uh, from easiest to hardest. Um, same with the gold and loot and all that. I don't think anything really changes with the difficulty, which I think that in itself should be changed. Um, I think you should be able to get better stuff by doing something that's harder. Kind of just how games usually work. And I, I think I get the intent of what they did there and the developers are trying to just make sure it's a casual game and everybody can have the same experience no matter how, I guess, skillful they are. So yeah, first in this room, I try to find a key. So I've got one key here and it's it's kind of randomly generated, but I found that, pop the haste, and then I zoom through here. There's a totally useless room. Don't even need to fight anything. I can go over here, try to find the key. There's a key right here. Sometimes it's over there. Then I go over here. Uh, usually there's a key right there, but sometimes it's right there. So here we go. Zoom past everything. Go on up here. And then I open this with the three keys that I have. And bam. Actually, do I have three keys? Oh, yeah, I got one more key. So I don't even need to look at what I got. Oop, and then the slime blocked me. Oh, okay. And then I died. That's okay. Not the cleanest run because that slime got in the way. But whatever. 
Then I go up here and I just zoom up. Don't have to worry about any of the enemies. It's tier one. It's not really gonna affect me. <laughs> and dying didn't do anything either. I open that chest, grab onto this pole. Oh, that was weird. And then I teleport down here. Zoom, zoom, and pop another haste. Why not? I actually just found a haste, so got it again. Then we fight the boss. And wherever that boss is, here he is. One shot. <laughs> kind of crazy that that's one shot. Then we get the skeleton boss. A couple shots. He's a little tankier. Oops. And then put that battery over there. And there we go. I think I might have dropped, dropped the battery down there. And pop it in here. Got that last battery. Pop that. So I only got three kills in this whole dungeon. That was the whole dungeon right there, guys. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of kind of strange kind of weird way to do stuff. There, there were some wasps that end up spawning after I killed everything. But yeah, I'm returning to the outpost. That was literally it. Um, I got two weapon modules and it's just two guaranteed weapon modules for like five. And I don't think that was even five minutes. It's probably like two or three minutes. Um, but uh, again, now I'm recording it. Now I can look back on it and see what it is. And if you do something like this, it's an easy way to grind the dungeons completed. You can see I'm 126, which is higher than most of the other ones. I've kind of grinded some crystals. So that's another reason my dungeon completed is so high, but uh, 126 and 564 total dungeons. Um, obviously, these guys have grinded a lot more than me, but uh, yeah, no, if you really want to go for it, there's that's an easy way to do it. Um, and I did this standing up, but you can just as easily do it sitting down, and it hardly makes a difference. Because, um, I mean, all you gotta do, reload, bam, 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 shoot the guys, and uh, kind of just run through them. Yeah, so that's that's how you do that. And, I, again, I, I don't think that should be the case. I feel like uh, having to do the dungeon and do tier seven difficulty uh and that give like i don't know seven times as much xp seven times better loot stuff like that that would be awesome maybe not seven times but at least better maybe double something like that uh but that would be awesome and then challenges and assignments i think that's uh down the road um challenges and assignments i don't know exactly what that means but that's on the roadmap and uh that should potentially help this as well uh, in like if you do a challenge then you get specific stuff maybe a lot of xp if you complete the challenge uh, whether it's doing a dungeon without any exo points or exo perks or uh, doing a dungeon with the default weapons like i don't i don't know what these challenges are going to look like but i'm excited for them um, and I, I think they could be a really good value add especially if if it actually gives you rewards based on how difficult it was um, how much time it takes or whatever because uh, you saw that that was cheesy i don't think it should be that that cheesy uh, and there was one quote from a guy in the a discord that i saw and he was oh, i forgot the exact quote but it was something like uh players will always video gamers will always find a way to maximize the fun out of your game, uh, to optimize the fun out of your game, something like that. And that's basically exactly what I just did. I, I was, I'm optimizing to get the XP, to get my long swords. And yet, um, it's, it's not ideal because I'm not having the most fun. Could I, I could have much more fun playing with friends, playing random dungeons, uh, playing with the long sword, but instead I just decided like, hey, I, I really want this specific long sword. I'm gonna grind for it and I'm gonna do the most efficient optimized thing as possible. Even if this isn't like, I, I, I don't know the stats on that specific dungeon. Um, I, I, I haven't measured it to other huge dungeons with more tier threes and see like how efficient is this compared to that. But I feel like completing a dungeon gives you a lot of gold and XP. And if you do a huge dungeon, it'll only give a little bit more and it's not proportional, but who knows? This is a little bit of speculation. And, uh, but otherwise, I mean, I just, just showed you the thing, uh, 
a little food for thought, I guess, was this video. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I can get some more long sword out. I really want that unblockable perk, and then I'll be able to make some unblockable sword long sword videos. But uh, until then, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you took something away, whether it's if you want to do this grind or you want to help me encourage the devs to change it so that that shouldn't be the case. Uh, either way, hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and peace out.